Hello, dear friends. My name is Anton, and it's great to see you. How dare you? Oh, you didn't do anything. This is one of the questions Greta Thunberg asked people in her speech in New York. Today, we continue talking about environment. Do you remember the adjective of this word? It's environmental. And today, we'll learn about environmental problems. Do you know any? Let's learn them. Global warming. Our climate is changing quickly, and this is called global warming. Overpopulation. Overpopulation is becoming a problem because a lot of people are born in poor countries and don't have enough food. Water pollution. Scientists say there will be not enough clean water for us in the future because of water pollution. Air pollution. Industrial factories and cars are responsible for air pollution. Plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is a new problem, but a serious one. We use too much plastic. Endangered animals. Many species of animals become endangered and can disappear very soon. Deforestation. Deforestation is a problem of the Carpathian Mountains because people cut down too many trees. Rubbish. Waste. We must understand that things which we throw away don't disappear. They become rubbish. Now it's your turn to name these problems. Listen to the examples and guess which environmental problems they describe. The Red Book of Ukraine is a national list of animals and plants in our country. Endangered. Smog in big cities is a result of its air pollution. Our summers are very hot and there isn't much snow in winter. Why is it? Because of global warming. Have you heard that IKEA buys wood for production from Ukraine? It's deforestation. Did you know that 200,000 babies are born every day? Now I understand why we have the problem of overpopulation. Well done. Now, what we can do about these problems? Let's ask an expert. I'm sure Greta Thunberg has some solutions for us. Hello. Greta, hi. Uh, sorry to bother. It's Anton here. I've got a few questions for you. Sure. What do you think about the situation with the environment now? To my mind, it's more serious than ever. If we don't do anything right now, the problems like plastic pollution and global warming will become bigger and it will be really hard to change the situation. What do you suggest? Well, I think the government of every country should be more active about the environment. They could try limiting the production of plastic. Did you know that there is a plastic island in the Pacific Ocean? Really? That's terrible! What else? How about environmental programs at school? If children like me learn at school about air and water pollution, endangered animals, they will understand the problems better and can be more eco-active. You are right. And what about us, people? I think we shouldn't buy so many things and clothes. We could also save water and electricity at home. Thank you, Greta. Those were simple but great solutions. Now, guys, check yourself. 
Here are four sentences about the conversation with Greta. Pause the video and write down the correct answers. Ready? Let's check the answers. 1. Greta thinks the situation is now more serious than ever. 2. The government of every country should be more active about the environment. 3. If children learn at school about the problems, they can be more eco-active. 4. People could also save water and electricity at home. Great job! Now I'd like us to look at two sentences Greta used. If we don't do anything right now, the problems will become bigger. If children like me learn at school about air and water pollution, endangered animals, they will understand the problems better. Do you remember this grammar? If, will. That's right. They are conditional sentences. The first conditional. What does it mean? Are these examples about the present or future? They are about the future. Is this a realistic or unrealistic future? It's realistic. What do you see after if? Present simple, if we don't do, if children learn. And the second part, will. The problems will become. They will understand. Here's a task for you to check if you remember this topic. There are some parts of the sentences, read and match them. Pause the video to do the task. It's time to check. 1. If our cars and factories pollute the air, T will have serious health problems. 2. If people throw rubbish from their cities into the seas and oceans, E. They will kill millions of fish. 3. If people ride bicycles more, A. There won't be so much pollution in the air. 4. If people cut down thousands of trees in the tropical rainforests, B. They will kill animals and plants which live there. 5. If factories don't produce so much plastic, C. There will be less rubbish. Great job! So, we've heard some ways to solve the environmental problems. Did you hear any new ideas? Which one will you try? Thanks for joining! See you guys!